Kraken, a popular crypto exchange, goes down for 48 hours. CNBC misreports the South Korean crackdown. And Jim Breyer triggers a half billion dollar surge in a less known cryptocurrency. It's Friday, January 12th, 2018, and this is the Crypto News Show. It's Nick O'Neill for the Crypto News Show, and my lighting guy really needs to step up his game. I come in here every day and work my ass off and you don't pay me crap. Leave me alone or I quit. Get back to your stupid news show, Nick. Whoa, he's feisty. Kraken, one of the most popular crypto exchanges, has been inaccessible for nearly 48 hours, causing many traders to panic. The company has been posting ongoing status updates of when they should be accessible once again. However, like all software projects, the launch date keeps getting delayed. As of this video, they claim the site should be up in a few hours. While exchanges have been under increasing stress, none that I know of have gone down completely offline for such an extended period recently. Ripple announced a partnership with MoneyGram yesterday, causing the token to rebound off of its 30 plus percent drop during the past week. So now it's only doubled in price over the course of the past month. Personally, I'm trying to figure out what Ripple needs to announce for XRP to go up another 10,000% because I really want to buy a mansion in Manhattan. Why? Because I deserve it. Jim Breyer, best known for his early investment in Facebook, has indicated on his personal funds website that he has VeChain as part of his portfolio. This follows a Quora answer he posted one week ago in which he argues why he likes the concept. These two actions were responsible for more than a half billion dollar increase in the market cap of the company. While VeChain's website has a decent amount of generic language, Jim focused in on one area which is their anti-counterfeiting solutions. So far, following the money of Silicon Valley investors into crypto investments has been a winning strategy. That's why I personally have invested my entire life savings of $100 into VeChain. Here's hoping my $100 turns into a Parisian mansion. Why? Because I deserve it. Oh, and if I wasn't clear in prior videos, don't take my advice. I'm just a talking head with the world's greatest video show. CNBC misreported a South Korean crackdown on cryptocurrencies, causing the markets to temporarily crater. The real story was one we've previously covered, that South Korea is shutting down exchanges that don't follow the policy of blocking anonymous trading accounts. When they followed through on that promise earlier this week, CNBC interpreted that as the country shutting down all crypto trading. A South Korean government official was later forced to issue a statement clarifying that not all crypto trading will be banned. Guess it just goes to show that CNBC is still a crappy news organization and the only source you can really trust is the crypto news show. Yeah, well, if you keep giving me a hard time, I can guarantee you won't be able to trust the lighting on this show. I am so sorry. He has never interrupted before. I'll make sure he doesn't do it again. That's all the time we have for today's crypto news show. Have a great day.